Hey, good afternoon, folks. Hope you're having a great Saturday, a beautiful day outside. Uh, hopefully it's kind of quiet for you. You know, it was probably pretty quiet back in Jerusalem. As today, we're going to look at the sixth and the seventh saying of Jesus from the cross. It was the Sabbath. Everything comes to a halt on the Sabbath. And so today we want to look at what was going on on those last couple of moments in Jesus's life on that Friday. The first one we're going to look at is from John chapter 19, verses 28 to 30. And we're going to see one of the sayings that we've already heard and his sixth saying. In chapter 19, verses 28 through 30, we read, After this, Jesus, knowing that all was now finished, said to fulfill the scripture, I thirst. A jar full of sour wine stood there. So they put a sponge full of the sour wine on a hyssop branch and held it to his mouth. And verse 30 is our sixth word for Jesus on the cross. When Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Friends, Jesus knew he had accomplished all that he had set out to do. That's where we get the word that maybe you've heard before, to tell us die where Jesus is proclaiming, It is finished. I set out to do everything I wanted to do. My mission is complete. But what that means even more than that, it's what you would receive when you paid off your debt. If you paid off your mortgage, you're not just going to get the paper back, but someone would stamp it and say, paid in full. And that's what Jesus did for us. He paid in full the price for us of our sinfulness. That is the gift that Jesus gives to us. So the sixth word, it is finished. Tetelestai, I did all that I came to do. It is complete, and we thank God for that. And now we look to the seventh word, the final words of Jesus from Luke chapter 23, verses 44 to 46. Luke tells us, it was now about the sixth hour, and there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour, which would be 3 p.m., while the sun's light failed, and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Then Jesus, calling out with a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. And having said this, he breathed his last. And so Jesus knowing that all he did was accomplished. Father, into your hands. Back into your hands, Father. And it was as if Jesus is quoting Psalm 31, verse 5, when the psalmist says, Into thy hands I commend my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, faithful God. And so it's the image of Jesus committing himself back to the Lord. You know, not, not to go on anymore, but for us is to remember on this day, John 3, 16 and 17, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that whoever believes in him would not perish, but would have life everlasting. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world, you and I, might be saved through him. Hold on to that Easter hope, folks. Come back tomorrow. Celebrate Easter together. Praise God for it. Blessings. Goodbye.